Welcome back to another episode of Third Pedal Media and the Nissan Showdown video series I'm doing where we have ourselves the 6GP, the JK, and the reigning king, the CD009. I need to give these bad boys back. I've been putting off this video because I've been looking for questions to answer for you guys. I've got a few of them. We got some measurements to go off of, but also I have exciting news that's in this box. So let's go over some measurements first and then we'll talk about what's in here. Okay, so we have these two on these two planks of wood, bell housing up, because of course the input shaft, we don't want to damage the input shaft laying it on the ground. We want to see the overall length of these. We got ourselves here the JK, which I guess let's. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty much dead on there, but we need to measure. So that's there. It's about 32 and a half inches. This one right here. Same, 32 and a half inches. Also here. Thirty-two and a half. So they're all the same length, but of course, this guard or this shroud, this metal shroud, is not functional. We need to see the depth inside of where the output of the transmission is where your drive shaft input will go into. So we have so here we have two and a quarter inches. This one is a little taller. The JK is about two and an eighth, actually. Okay, no, it's the same, about two and an eighth, okay. I need to just get me a metric tape measure. This whole sixteenths and fractions and shit, mm -mm, I don't know about that. Here's a six GP, is about two and an eighth, yeah. This is eighth, right guys? This little mark right here, oh my goodness. I need my ruler. I had a tape with the fractions written out. I have no idea where it is. So we just going by that. They're all overall from the face of the bell housing to the shroud, the same, and the inside depth from where the uh, drive shaft would to the shroud is the same too. So dimensionally, it's about the same. I will say the tree for the shifter, the tree is different. It's, you can visually see that the tree is different. The other thing now, give me a break. Let's lay them over and let's see how much the input shaft sticks out from the bell housing face. So we got this level here and This guy's about a half inch. Yeah, this guy's about a half inch protrusion from the bell housing face. That's the 6GP. I am blocking the light with my butt. This looks also like a half inch. Yeah, also a half inch. That's the JK. Let's do the uh, brand new CD009, the reigning king. Press against the bell housing face. And he is, yep. So another similarity between all the generations. Same amount of protrusion, same amount of height. 
we're doing well so far. So, so far if you're liking this information and it's proven advantageous, hit me a sub, hit me a like, because it's hot as hell in this garage in the middle of July. Now, are you ready for the exciting part? Take a look at this. See what it says in that front cover? It says it right here. CDO. See what it says right here in this front cover? 6GP. And if you haven't guessed it by now, that is a CD009 front cover on a 6GP trans. How freaking cool is that? So we definitely confirmed by taking the front cover off, the 6GP has the same, I believe it's a 100 millimeter or 110 millimeter. I'll throw a picture because I've sent Mazwork some pictures. Oops. I kind of let something slip there. <laughs> yes, Mazworks is involved in this. So we weren't back and forth. This cover, Mazworks actually sent this cover to me because I couldn't find one locally. So there we go. Here's our two front covers. They are identically alike. Ah, we got we got a runner, guys. We got a runner. Here's our input bearing. And uh, we measured the diameter of the input bearing. Because of that now, ah, we have confirmed with Mazworks that the CD009 front cover works on the 6GP. If you think something's funny going on right now, we just took a 6GP cover off. Here's the, sorry, we just took a CD cover off. Here's a 6GP cover off. And right here, you can see 6GP stamp. So absolutely, Nissan went back to an external slave bearing setup. Uh, there's the fork, there's the bearing right there. And went back to a bigger input bearing, same cover. So that is very exciting news. Time for the box. And most of you have guessed it by now, but because Mazworks is involved, ooh, some swag, swaggy swag. We have. So beautiful. Oh, nice. A new gasket. A Mazworks CD009 to SR20 bell housing cover. It's just sounded to burr, 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 all the DJ noises yeah, in the background. Woohoo! So, definitely, we know because Mazworks mills their interface to fit as a front cover would fit. The kit comes with bolts and other accessories. I believe that's a dowel to line up your clutch. Pretty much look here. We have our SR to VQ bell housing. All we have to do now is chop off this bell housing, which is crazy talk. We're chopping up a brand new transmission well, slightly used transmission. So we're gonna put the bell housing from Mazwix on and we're gonna put it in the 510. However, unfortunately we can't do that right now. Aaron's shop is busy. Throughout this swap, he's gonna to have to fabricate a custom trans brace. And with that custom trans brace, we're gonna to have to order a custom drive shaft because this is definitely longer than the Nismo six speed gearbox that's in that car. So unfortunately, 
We will have to wait on that, so go ahead and subscribe. Hit that bell so you'll be notified whenever that video drops. But that is exciting news, guys. We have a better replacement for the CD009. Now, don't get me wrong. The CD009 is still a great gearbox. It's not an old gearbox. Throughout the years, Nissan have been doing updates on the gearbox. So this is not an 07, 08 gearbox that they've been selling. Throughout the years, they've been doing revisions to it. But this, come on closer, come see this. We showed this in the last video. This, this is magic right here. That is the gear position sensor. And that could wire up, hopefully, in the Haltech, and we'll be able to get rev match in the 510. Now, everybody knows me and my drive-in. I used to do my own rev matching in the G, and that's fun as heck throughout some back roads and stuff. But if you're doing any kind of really fast-paced driving on a circuit or autocrossing, autocrossing has so many turns, so many tight corners. As soon as you, you rev up, you come down, you got to shift gears. So I am going to try to integrate this module into the Haltech and try to get rev match working. That's something that was never available, never possible with the CD009. So now knowing that we can use the 6GP, the front cover is the same as the CD009, chop that off and we use all the bell housing adapters that's been currently available. Opens up a world of opportunities. Long live the king. Right here we have a new possibility and a new era for Nissan gearbox swaps. This is gonna be awesome.